Hi, I'm Lalata from Let's Speak English and I have a quick question. Do you use too many adjectives in your writing? We look at 15 adjectives to delete or replace that will strengthen your writing immediately. I'm Lalata from Let's Speak English and let's get on to learning those strong adjectives that will replace the weak ones. The first one is happy. So happy. Happy can mean anything from being content to joyful. So for example, Bella was happy could be replaced as Bella was ecstatic. Other stronger adjectives that can replace happy are cheerful, contented, del delighted, ecstatic, etc. Before I move on to the next adjective, do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, Let's Speak English. Sad. How sad are you? Sad can be anything from slightly unhappy to being miserable. The widow was sad could be written as the widow was grave stricken. Other stronger adjectives are broken hearted, dejected, depressed, etc. Good. Now, good can mean okay, great, even the best. Choose an adjective that says exactly what you're trying to say. For example, the dinner was good could be told as dinner was superb. We could replace uh, good with stronger adjectives like excellent, first rate, marvelous, etc. The next one is beautiful. Now this is a very weak adjective because it is subjective. What is beautiful or pretty for one person may not be the same for somebody else. She was a beautiful woman could be replaced as she was a graceful woman. Right? So other adjectives or the stronger adjectives are alluring, classy, dazzling, etc. Cold. This is one of the easiest adjectives that can be deleted, that should be deleted and replaced. For example, it was a cold night could be told as it was a glacial night. Chilly, cool, glacial, freezing are some of the stronger adjectives. Hot. This is another one of the easiest adjectives that can be deleted and replaced. For example, it was a hot day could be told as it was a boiling hot day, defining the hot, boiling. Other words, other stronger adjectives are balmy, blistering, humid, etc. The next one is tired. What, how tired is tired? For example, the professor looked tired could be told as the professor looked exhausted. Other stronger adjectives are drained, drooping, etc. The next one is nice. Now, nice signifies nothing. It's a filler word that means a little other than something uh, which is not very bad. For example, we had a nice dance could be replaced as we had a cordial dance. Other stronger adjectives are enjoyable, pleasant, lovely, etc. Little is a vague adjective because it is subjective and uh, it is not very precise. For example, look at the little child could be told as look at the toddler. Other words are compact, petit, short, etc. The next one is big. Now, big can mean anything from large to mammoth. For example, she was a big girl. Could be she was a hefty girl. Okay. So, other stronger adjectives are large shouldered, burly, considerable. So, all these adjectives describe the physical bigness. Bad is one of the easiest adjectives that could be deleted and replaced. For example, she had a bad accident could be used as she had could be replaced as she had a life-threatening accident 
Other stronger adjectives are dreadful, harmful, wicked, etc. Tall. Tall can mean anything from substandard to incompetent. The tall building could be referred to as skyscraper or the girl was tall could be replaced as the girl was towering. Short. It can mean anything from brief to elfin. Elfin in this uh, meaning the, in terms of size. The report was short or you can say the report was concise. There are other stronger adjectives given on your screen. Moving on, young. Now this adjective is very weak because it's measurable when referring to people and things. For example, a young person arrived today could be replaced with the adolescent boy arrived today. Other stronger adjectives are boyish, childlike, juvenile, etc. Old. Now this is again a measurable adjectives. Adjective, sorry. For example, he wore old clothes could be told as he wore threadbare clothes. There are other stronger adjectives given so do not uh, do not uh, feel shy to experiment using those stronger adjectives. We have, I ha also have included some exercise for you here with those words given wide, high, find replacements for them and please do not forget to mention it in the comments. Thank you. Do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Let's speak English.